another day of beautiful weather, so we're gonna go out here in Xi'an and check out the park if we can not get run over for a minute. We've really been uh, unimpressed slash amazed at the speed at which people drive through crowds here. We've seen a couple people get hit, but nothing too serious. It's amazing there's not more. Maybe there is, we just didn't see it. They go fast. We've been drinking this Nongfu spring water because it's the cheapest at the stores and we're still alive, so it's good. So much of the art and stuff on the streets and the decorations are live plants. Look at this mural behind us, it's all flower pots. See, we don't always get fried stuff. That is fresh orange juice. These apples are really good. And mom, it tastes like the ones we used to sit in the tree in the orchard. Really good. This is awesome. My favorite movie. <laughs> Hey, look who I found at Geming Park. Oh, this is cool. Slowly but surely, park exploration is becoming one of our favorite things. In addition to a lot of other high marks, China gets very high marks for the public parks. Yeah, they're always unique. It's just another gorgeous day and it's probably too loud for you to hear. Kate's been looking all over for these pot sticker things and she finally found them. Oh, they're good. They're very good. Spicy, but good. our last day in Xi'an. Rather than piling on a bus and taking a couple hour trip out to the mountains, we are just gonna walk some more of this beautiful park all the way around the wall. It's a long way. Yeah. What a beautiful town. There's people playing instruments on accordion and kind of classical guitar, people doing Tai Chi, lots of people working out, people just walking, sleeping, chatting. It's like the community center in the evenings. We've reached the southeast corner. Which is square. <laughs> we saw the one round one. Oh yes, one round one. And the flying kites. I will try to zoom in, but those suckers are like a thousand feet up there. down and walk around part of the moat. You can pay to get up on top of the wall, but we're cheap. It's pretty enough from down here. Hello. Quack, quack. Look at the mallards all over the world. I love the animals. That's another part of the wall completed. Probably our last part. Now we're gonna wander around the city a little bit. I've seen those things everywhere. I thought they were pig's feet. They're not, they're lamb's feet. And they're tasty. Look at that, it's all from up to Xi'an. <laughs> That's our driver, Suki, taking us to the train station so we can grab our first bullet train to go to Beijing. <laughs> Xi'an was amazing. <laughs> and the Ali Youth Hostel where we stayed was fantastic. We already covered that. All right, off we go. The Xi'an North Xi'an by railway station is gorgeous and enormous. There's just bullet trains lined up everywhere out here. 
as our driver Suki said, beautiful and advanced. Wow, this is a state-of-the-art train station. I've never seen anything like it. And we're about to do a bullet train, which goes how many miles an hour? It's like 200 and some. Wow. This place is gorgeous. It's amazing. Getting on our first bullet train. Splurged a little bit for the larger first class seats. I can already tell you, oh, yeah. it's money well spent. In four hours and 15 minutes, we're gonna travel over 600, 680 miles. We've also got these included. We're zipping along at about 185 miles an hour and it is just smooth as silk. The scenery is beautiful, wonderful trip. Video. Leave the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good.